I started this project as sort of a bandsaw box without a bandsaw. I do end up using the bandsaw a little bit here and there for cutting curves, but not for anything you need a large bandsaw for. So this project is built around three 4-inch PVC couplings, some 4-inch PVC pipe, and then some smaller pipe used as a decoration. The couplings have a rib in the middle, and they're also tapered. So I use the spindle sander to get rid of that rib and flatten it on the inside. I need to cut the 4-inch pipe to create the drawers, and I hot glued some blocks to keep that pipe from being able to rotate. What I didn't do was put anything on the inside of the pipe to keep it from closing in on itself when the cut was completed. So I almost had a kickback here. Um, this cut would be a lot safer on the fans off. To make the front and back of the drawers, I have elected to fit pieces of wood inside of the pipe rather than onto the ends. And that way I can make a groove for a bottom to make the bottom of the drawer flat. And because they're inside of the pipe, the, en the ends of that groove are hidden. I cut the plywood bottoms at 45 degrees on the end to better fit the pipe. And before epoxying in the front and back into the drawer, I sanded the inside of the pipe to give the epoxy something better to grab onto. And the same will go for everywhere else where the PVC gets epoxy onto it. I do a little sanding to rough it up first. I made the pieces that go between the, the couplings out of eight quarter walnut. And I thought it would sort of tie things together if there were smaller pieces of pipe in different places. So I made a pair of seven eighths inch holes going crossways. And it was easier to do that first. Then I could trace the curve of the couplings onto the blocks. But because the couplings themselves are tapered, uh, I have to make the blocks tapered too. And I did that at the spindle sander using a piece of veneer as a shim. And that ended up taking a lot of trial and error to get that right. The half inch PVC was a loose fit in the 7 8 inch holes. So I wrapped it with some self-adhesive labels. I traced the coupling onto the pieces that are going to make up the back and the front. I also traced some quarter inch plywood that would fit inside the pipe. And the back would be attached to that plywood and just press fit into the back. So after gluing the backs onto the plywood, then I could use a flush trim bit to fit that to the pipe. I had one spot where a piece broke off, so I had to glue in a piece to fix that. The 4-inch pipe isn't PVC all the way through. There's this sort of porous material in the middle. And so the tops of the drawers, they looked dirty. So I ended up painting those white. I couldn't use the flush trim bit on the front because the drawer isn't held in place tightly. So I had to sand that to fit. And then I rounded over both the front and the back. Before putting it all together, I thought it was best to pre-finish so that any epoxy that got onto those middle pieces wouldn't soak into the wood. As much as I hate sanding, I always enjoy that moment when you first put on finish over a nice piece of wood. So while the finish was drying, I could move on to making the base. And this time the inch and a quarter PVC was too tight of a fit for the holes. So I had to use the spindle sander to enlarge those a little bit. So then it was moment of truth time putting it all together. And I used a square to sort of align everything. What I think would have worked better was to so I clamp two boards on either side. Because when I put the strap clamp on it, it just sort of pushed the middle one out. I left it alone for about an hour, and then I tipped it on its side so I could clean up the epoxy that had run out to the back. So then I finished up the base and 
glue it on a little more finishing and then I installed some black knobs and I sort of like the graphic quality of the white and the black what I liked even better was that I had three knobs left over from something else so so what do you think I like it more than I thought I would it's different I think the the white makes a nice contrast with the walnut you can't go too wrong with that nice of a piece of walnut on the front. Thanks for watching!